Yeah. yeah so if you look there to the right, that's really what you're looking at. And that's, that's, that's where there's just so much surface area. Well, it goes down into the soil and it kind of lodges in there and the roots migrate to it. And as it, as it begins to weather and, and, and break down, it, it, it provides a, a food source for the microbes and the activity and it kicks in the whole, the whole, um, you know, system of the ladder of, uh, of nutrients, you know, it goes with the, uh, starts with a little bit of molybdenum. So it just, it creates a healthy soil environment and silicon is a transporter gene for plants. So it works the same way with grass. When grass or turf needs something, it utilizes its root system to bring up the nutrients and having a strong vascular root system into the, into the turf blade provides what would be a rigid turf blade that I'm told mows better mm. as a higher sheen. That's my interest in uh, silica. Yeah. And so is to get the plant, get the blade to stand up um, about like Nate's mustache, good and strong. <laughs> <laughs> what type of silicon do you use? I've never used any because by the end of the season, the blades, they want to lay over from where the mower's been so many times. So it's I'm hard to like shorter for one. wipe it a clean slate for you. Mm -hmm. You're getting old, old. But I've been That's told why. that, you know, silica will, I guess, uh, strengthen the cell walls or strengthen the plant walls or whatever to keep it stood up. It's true. So how often would so you would would it you be safe? It? You know, I mean, I would apply it. It just depends on what your situation, where you're at. Like, I mean, if you're getting some sort of a, a stress like that, I'd, I'd maybe go, if that was, you know, I don't know, six pounds one time a year, I might go like maybe three, three times a year. You know, if I was, if my grass was looking good and I just wanted to see the difference, I'd maybe lay it down 4,000 or four, four pounds and, and do a with and without and, and see what I see. You know, if you have something that's in a soil test that really says, Hey, you know, silicon's going to help this problem, maybe more. I would do that, that. That's what I would recommend. You can't put too much on and you're going to get the residual effect. One thing nice, you know, when you're dealing with, say, container growers is a lot of them, they just don't keep their soil. It's becoming more of a trend to have a living soil and to use it over and over again. But that's the one with turf. You want to take care of that soil because that's going to be your soil base for years and years to come. You don't want it to compact. So this will help it from compacting. It'll help. It'll help with the irrigation, too. So like when it rains, it'll help it drain into the root system and it'll hold it like i've got video um on our youtube channel of a gentleman with tomato plants that it holds upwards of 30 to 40 percent water it just retains it 